Hey everybody, T.O. from Art Geek Teaching. I'm going to do a really quick intro uh, for this art drop and then after the intro in this video I will show you how I began to make a series of these paintings. The paintings, that was horse manure. <laughs> the, uh, the paintings that I am starting this series on um, are Nebraska wildlife and the painting that I'm giving away today is actually a dancer, but uh, in the same style, using some of my original pieces and then printing them out on tissue paper. So anyway, here we go. This hard drop will be 8 a.m. on Monday morning. Have a good day. Okay, I apologize for the sound quality on this. My microphone stopped working, so I had to put something together on my phone. But anyway, here we go. Um, I am just making a couple canvas backgrounds here. I'm reutilizing canvases uh, from kids that uh, they just throw their work out or um, they, you know, they throw the canvases out after they've done. So I'm just repurposing old canvases. Typically, I start with a black background. Here, I am just putting gesso on. And um, once my gesso is on, then I'll, I'll mix some other colors with it no big deal, just making some abstract backgrounds. And I did several different varieties, several different techniques and came up with a bunch of different backgrounds to use, but I'm just gonna let this play and you can see here's one way, one method that I made some backgrounds. Okay, so the next step here is printing on tissue. And so what I'm doing is just using a carrier sheet. I've cut tissue paper to uh, roughly eight by 10 and a half. And I just am taping it to the carrier sheet and then we'll run it through the printer. And um, it, it, it's just a time consuming thing. It's a pain in the tail, but it works okay. Um, I always trim off all the weird little pieces. You want it, you know, you want it clean when it goes through the printer. But um, that's what we're doing here, and then we'll just kick it out through the printer. Okay, after that thing gets done printing, and you can see um, it, it comes through it is like I said it takes a couple different times but after it goes through the printer I'm flying through some backgrounds here just trying to figure out what background might work best uh, for the image that I have and um, the ones that I made in the final were kind of made towards that so um, I choose one of the splatter backgrounds with the fox and um, then what I do is just take it off of the carrier sheet um, you have to be kind of careful with it. it is just tissue paper but once I get the tissue off of the carrier sheet, which is, by the way, just a half by 11, um, like a 20 pound bond, just a copy paper. Then I pull the tape and it leaves uh, kind of a deckled edge on there. I don't like flat, straight edges. And so um, I pull the tape off and make a deckled edge. If the tape has already come off and left it clean, then I go back and uh, pull it straight and deckle the edge on my own. So um, then I just put it on the background and I use, uh, get my brush, a little bit wet there and all I'm using is matte medium and um, I put matte medium on the bottom normally um, glue to glue but uh, with tissue paper you really can't glue, glue or paint the back side of it because it's so thin so just one side put it on see if I can get it as straight as possible and then once I get it on there all I'm gonna do is wrinkle out or um, spread out all, all spread spread out all of the wrinkles with uh, kind of a stiff brush there and um, that's it. Let it dry, sign it. Actually, in this one, I painted a moon on it as well, um, but that's really the last part of it. And here I am, I'm getting ready to package it up and send it out the door for art drop. So I just put mine in plastic, and that's an eight, eight by 10 canvas, eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper that tells where to contact if they find the piece, if you find the piece, whoever finds it. 
And that's it. Pack it up, it's ready to go.